Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play of Yuppie Psycho. When we left off, I left once, but here I am at work, and apparently I'm about to learn how to do work things. I don't see anything useful here. I bet. Okay, so which one's my actual desk? Is it here? I don't know where my desk is. <laughs> Hang on, let me talk to this guy again. You should turn on your computer if you want to know what your responsibilities are. Yeah, I'm trying to get there. Is it this one? Let's see. Oh god, it is. How does this thing turn on? Oh, it doesn't work. It looks like there's no power. I guess this? I suppose I'll try plugging in this wire. Yep, got it. I don't need to make- no, not phone calls, you goof. Oh, that's a, that's a nice computer. You need an ID card to access this machine. ID card? Excuse me, I need an ID card? Uh, sorry to bother you again, Hugo, but the computer says I need an ID card? Ah, true. Mm, normally they'd get sent to the Bia the Bias's office, but I'll, uh, I'll see if yours is already in there. Bias? And that's the last time we ever saw Hugo. There's something in this drawer. Cat food? Why would Hugo have this here? Oh, what? Sorry. Hello? Mr. Pasternak. Yeah, it's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm your boss. Hugo told me that you don't have your ID card. It seems there's been some kind of administrative error. I apologize. Oh, n no, it's fine. It looks like they sent your ID card to another office. You have to go to Office D, which is on the same floor as yours. Office D? Got it, thank you. Also, I, I noticed the clock moving, but... Okay, I was like, it, it's not going backwards. It is going forwards. It's just weird. Uh, D. What's in here? Okay. Should I go into F or no? Should I do what I'm supposed to be doing? Be a good little employee? Oh, I, I was like, did the um, cameras follow you? But apparently not. I'm gonna use the bathroom. I've had a rough day. Nothing interesting. <laughs> well, never mind about the bathroom thing. I'm good, because I already peed myself. Where is D? There's photos of employees of the month. Hugo's in all of them. Hugo, girl. Why is D so far away? This is blocking the door. Maybe I can push it out of the way. Okay. Hello? Oh, more blood. Wow, it's way too dark in here. Hello? There's something written on the floor. It's my ID card. It's a trap. This isn't funny. Turn on the light. Well, I didn't mean that one. Oh, dang it. Oh, no. Whoa, okay. Um, am I? I'm getting hurt. I, I'm fired. No, I, I straight up died. Like, for sure. Uh... What? I'm so confused. I guess I'm gonna have to go back there. Um, so could I not take damage from that? Because it seemed like they only fell when I walked up to them. Uh, cat food, cat food, cat food. Yep, okay, cool. Maybe that's what killed me. Maybe the ghosts were attracted to cat food. Okay, yeah, I gotta go to Office D. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I don't think I want to trigger the bathroom demon again. If I can avoid it. Um, okay, so... I'm guessing I have to go in here, right? So can I save now? 
No, I don't get the option to save. All right, let's try this again. And hope I do better. It's a trap! Okay! Oh! So if it goes red, then it's mailed. Okay! Oh, hi? H hello? Do you know where the exit is? Oh my goodness! She's tied up to the chair! What happened here? I'm going to try untying you. It won't budge. Hey, I'm not sure I can help you just yet, but, but perhaps between the two of us, we can find a way out of here. Yeah, you, uh... Oh god, I gotta push him. I can't push the chair over the wires and they're too tangled to move. This is actually kind of clever. But buddy, I don't think you're gonna make it. I'm gonna be... I don't see anything useful. I'm gonna be honest. Whew. Okay, it's a cardboard box seems pretty sturdy. Okay... So I guess I could have eaten the candy bars to, uh... Sorry, yeah, I know, I know, you're... You're all tied up at the moment and can't really focus on... What's going on. Um, can I read this? No. Why would I need a cardboard box? There's another one. What's happening? Oh god. Oh god! Okay, I was like, is it gonna move back and forth? But... Doesn't seem like it. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna have to figure out what your name is, actually. I don't even know your name, man. But Daryl? Is that... No? Uh, all these stack cabinets look like they could fall over at any time. Should I push them into it? <laughs> I'm guessing not, right? Eh. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Help me! Oh. Okay, so this is a bad idea. This is a bad time. Anything in here? 20 credits! Dude! There was 20 credits in that cabinet. I don't know if I want to search these guys. You know, like, it feels kind of bad to search people when they're hanging upside down and maybe dead. <laughs> Take it easy. I'm sure uh, there's got to be a way to get you out in the back. He does not seem happy. Run. Hardware box, there's something written on the wall. Run, hold shift. Ah, well, it's been nice knowing you, Daryl. Oh god, oh god, okay, okay, okay. Got it. Whew. I may have only saved myself, but I'm also more important. <laughs> what was that? Uh, run. I have to get out of here as soon as possible. Box is here. Box is here. Uh, air duct's open, but it's very high up. I'll have to... Need some help to climb into it. Okay, inventory. The cat food. G get up there, you dingus! Okay. Oh yeah, crawling in vents is like, you know, go-to class... Class A situation stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just wanted to say it's like what the cool people do, but I couldn't think. Hey, I went to that vent earlier. Press F to pay respects. Hey, I didn't get my ID card. Oh my goodness, what was that? What, what What's going on at this company? Hey, you. All right, cool, thanks. It's locked. Uh, Sosa? 
Office. Yeah, I know it's office. I need to go in there. Uh, Sosa. Please, we need to call for help. Boss. Boss? Uh, okay. Never mind. What, what, what about the boss? Slice of bread? Lovely. What is my health at, actually? How, how can I tell if I've been hurt? Well, I guess I'm going in here. Hello, boss? Oh, it's more of this. <laughs> Hello? Hugo! What's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. A, a monster! There's a monster in the office! A what? I went to Office D, and it was, I, I don't know, a nightmare. Ah, I think I understand. The monster you think you saw is actually a fellow who went a little crazy a few weeks ago and locked himself in his office. Uh, no, 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 what happened in there isn't normal. There was a guy tied to a chair and dozens of employees hanging from the walls. We've got to tell someone. Also, I found 20 credits. Just, you know, it, it's a lot to me. Well, man, I don't think there's anything like that going on in here. I swear, there were coffee makers and monitors flying through the air. <laughs> Don't tease me, Pastor Knack. And besides, why'd you go into that office anyway? We blocked it off with a piece of furniture to avoid any problems. W well, the boss called me and told me I'd find my ID card in there. Huh? Your ID card's right here on the table. They're always left here. But, wait. Then who called me? This office is a total mess and... What are you doing sitting in the boss's chair? Oh, did I not tell you? There aren't any bosses in this company. There's not a single one in the entire building. What? I know it sounds a bit weird, but they've all gone crazy and left in most cases. Our last boss locked himself up in this office for years until one day he just ran away. Who knows why? Stress, perhaps. Wait, but if there's no boss, then who, who called me? Just some joker, I suppose. Uh, stop worrying about it. It'd be best if you took your ID card and started working as soon as possible. Oh, did I say work? Well, don't try to do too much. You wouldn't want to go crazy like that monster. <laughs> um. Uh-huh. Got my ID card. Okay. Should I... Slice of cheese. Yuck. Okay. I don't see anything useful here. I did get a slice of bread, so maybe the cheese goes with the bread? <laughs> Nothing interesting. I can't really see much, to be very honest. Okay. Um, I'm having lots of doubts about my job right now. It'd be best if you turned on your computer, found out what your responsibilities are, and started ignoring them like the rest of us. Overdoing things can be bad for your mental health. Oh, so so you're actually working. Hey. Uh, hello. Alright, cool. Good talk. Nice to see you too. I've never used one of these machines before. It's like a floppy disk reader. Loading Sintranet. What? Are we in the Matrix? What is this place? Could it be another trap? I'm sorry, what? You're another freak! It's gonna say you're like Mickey Mouse, but robots. I need to get out of this nightmare. Do I need to like run immediately? Well, that's not nice. I hurt my toe. It says, welcome to Centricorp. Great. Did I, I was like, why is it so blurry? Did I lose my glasses? Uh oh.
Mr. Pastor Snack. Or Pastor Knack. I am a snack, though. I'm not gonna lie. Welcome to Sintra Corp. Uh, are you gonna kill me? Remain calm. I will not hurt you. W what is what is all this? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sintra. I am in charge of guiding you through your new job. Uh, okay, but what is this green world? A second ago, I was in the office. You are connected to Sintranet, our corporate interface. Here you can track your tasks, receive messages from your colleagues, and consult me on any topic. Point of interest, you just received your first message. If you wish, you can read it by activating it. Is it spam? Is it about my car's extended warranty? Welcome to Centricorp, Mr. Pasternak. I hope your time here will be prosperous, productive, and lasting. You sent this message to me, right? Correct. You are, if you are agreeable, I will explain, proceed to explain the responsibilities your occupation entails. Great. Step one, die. <laughs> you thoroughly studied the contract you signed earlier, correct? Uh, well, actually it was so long and there were a lot of unfamiliar words, so I kind of got lost. Do not worry, I will parse the information from it myself. According to the pre-established norms of the Junius Prudential Doctrine, currently enforced, <coughs> it's gonna kill my voice, by the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Centricorp. By accepting the stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document indefinitely or until the termination of the contract. This contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or at the request of the Trade Union Association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges, allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted in social status as dictated by Resolution 1138. Excuse me, could you just tell me my responsibilities directly? Of course. The focus of your work at Censure Corp is on a single goal. Exterminate the creature called the Witch. The what? Exterminate the creature called. Y yeah, I heard you, but to kill a witch? That's a joke, right? You have been hired as a witch hunter. Um. Okay, okay, look. I'm not sure what's going on in this company, but I don't think I want to hunt anyone. A witch? Seriously? I will now describe the details of your work. No, I don't want to know. There's definitely been some sort of mistake. This icon marks your first task. Locate Hexenhammer. How do I get out of here? Please, Mr. Pasternak. Allow me to finish my explanation and I will show you the way out. Alright, fine. Thank you. Due to a lack of information regarding the witch, your first task will be to locate Hexenhammer, a witchcraft treatise written in the 15th century that describes how to identify, hunt, and execute these unique creatures. I mean, we're talking about witches, right? Witches? Centricarp has acquired a copy of the Hexenhammer, but the location of the book is currently unknown. According to our most recent records, the book should be somewhere within the company's library on the seventh floor. It is recommended that you begin your search there. Okay, are you done? I must also inform you that for retrieving the book, we will provide you with a bonus of 1,000 credits. Ooh! Hey, Sintra, look. Thank you very much for the offer and all that, but hunting witches isn't my thing. I came here thinking this would be a normal job, but it's getting more and more bizarre by the minute. Maybe it'd be best if you found someone else to take my place. You know, like, like Gerald or Gerald or... Is it Gerald? It's probably not Gerald from The Witcher. I played it for a little bit, but uh, I'm not even going to talk about it. <laughs> I am sorry to hear you say that. You are free to leave at any time. If you would like to disconnect from the system, please activate the output icon. I hope you will reconsider our offer. I will be here whenever you need me. And see you later. Before you leave, I have one important thing to give you. 
Your work here is confidential. You cannot disclose uh, your status as a witch hunter or its related responsibilities. In the eyes of your partners, your work will consist of con consulting on systems and databases. What? In the interest of your own well-being, I hope you will not reveal this secret. See you soon, sir. Guys, I'm a witch hunter. Guys? Hey, have you already connected to the system? That computer's a little old, so maybe you have some outdated software, but it should be all right for the basic stuff. Did you find out what your responsibilities are? Yeah, well, it looks like some assorted chores. If you can call killing a chore. Kill? You have to kill somebody? Hey, uh, no, 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 no. Kill time. Oh, <laughs> I see you've got the hang of it now. You're already thinking about lazing around, aren't you? Yeah, well, actually, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this job. Oh, well, why not? Here in the big city, everything's so much faster and just different. I was thinking it might be better off going back to the suburbs. Takes a little time to get used to it, man. Don't worry. And we can always give you a hand if you need it. Look, if you're really feeling stressed, go relax in the canteen on the first floor. Have a snack, chill for a while, take it easy. It's your first day. So, so, so you have any advice for me? Please? H hello? Alright, cool. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate it. So, you want me to... Hi! Ma'am? Hermione? Um... Okay, well, it was good talking to you. I guess. Um... Should I go to the first floor, or should I go to the seventh floor? I want a snack though. Oh. Uh, I don't know what I want to eat, but okay. It's empty. Just like this place. Give me some water. Cool. Uh, there's a carton of dry noodles with the name array. Should I take it? No. I don't have the ingredients necessary to uh, use the microwave. Okay. Oh, it's a magazine. According to the company magazine, at Centricorp, you're not an employee, you're a leader. Lovely. Hi, my name is Pasternak. Pasternak, do you usually cry in the shower? What? Um, n not really, no. I do it all the time. Oh, well, I'm sorry. My name is Malone. Nice to meet you. Do you live Malone? Oh, no. Uh, no, I live with my parents. Please tell me you live alone, Malone. Well, I was... I had to get an apartment in the capital now. Delicious. The coffee? No. Okay, well, see you later. Bye. Looks like he's eating something, but the plate's empty. The cornflakes give you superpowers. Oh, dude, you are eating super fast. Empty box of cereal. I don't want to take anything right now. What is this? It's an altar. Five credits to make an offering, but it's broken. It can't be too difficult to fix. Uh, coffee vending machine. 200 credits! Good God! Oh, okay. Why do I need this stuff? I don't know how health or anything works in this game. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave. Um, I guess we can go to the seventh floor. I could go to the lobby and just like nope out, but I'm guessing you would get the same uh, ending, you know. The Sintra AI robot thing said the Hex and Hammer book is somewhere in the library. Getting a book shouldn't be too dangerous, right? I've never had to be afraid of going to the library before. So this is, oh, this was a library. Interesting. Okay. Screen reads, anyone seeking to borrow a book from the library will need to present a copy form R301 with all relevant data filled in and sealed in, uh, sealed with the reference code Citricorp. All documentation can be found in the archives. You got the form. I have to fill this out. Book data. Let's see. Title, your publication, author, and publisher. Well, at least I know the title. The Hexenhammer. Now I need to find the rest of the data in the archives. Okay, is that here? Yep.
Oh, lovely. Authors more authors mobile archivers room publication years audio cassettes room uh, publishers box store room what are you talking about there's a letter here it reads on this topic i can tell you only the very little of what i've discovered they call them witch papers and they can be identified by their snake watermark rumor holds that they're cursed but that they still offer several benefits one of the more common is the ability to photocopy a soul so it's saving yep photocopying a soul the spirit saved uh, should you do this before dying, you'll reappear the moment you made the photocopy. So when I photocopied my face on the witch paper earlier, it saved me. That seems really useful. Uh, does that mean if Hugo had witch paper, he would have saved himself by photocopying his butt? Empty. <clears throat> okay, so I got that. I'm guessing it's telling me to save, right? It's a photocopier, but it's out of ink. Oh. I got a pencil. Nothing here. Got another cup of water, I guess. What's this? Looks like a triangle drawn in blood. Oh, lovely. So lovely. Oh, there's ink. Okay. Don't see anything useful. Hello? There's a letter here. It reads, everything is computerized now. Nobody works at the archives anymore. I've not seen the old owl man for years. Since then, this has stopped being a safe place. Nobody believes me, but I have seen something sinister roaming the bookcases. Oh, great. Unimportant documents. So many folders that I don't know where to start. Yeah, that's true. Oh, God. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and see myself out. I'm trying to figure out what's what. Okay. It's empty. Square. So I have triangle and square, but I don't know. I don't know what that means. Nothing interesting. Oh, there's things happening though. It's empty. Fuse box, there's a fuse missing. Okay. Oh God. Okay. I'm probably going to need to find out the order of stuff too. Uh, okay, mobile archivers room, audio cassettes room, box store room. So maybe there's one in each? How do I get over there though? Okay, I know this is gonna end up cutting this video short, but I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Um, because. I need to be able to, like, if I go into one of those rooms and something kills me, I'm going to need to be able to backtrack um, immediately. So we're going to go ahead and copy our face. Great. What a lovely picture, man. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode right here. So next time we can start right in here, start digging around. If I die, it's not too bad because I feel like there's like a bookshelf monster or something in that one room. There's another dude who's just hanging there dead. So it's not going to be a good time. So saving right now is smart. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.